Hi there, my name is Katina Fontes and I'm the Education Coordinator for the Wayside Inn Foundation and I'm here today in front of the Redstone Schoolhouse on our property which is located in Sudbury, Massachusetts to tell you a little bit more about it and a few people who are connected with the, the building itself. So the Redstone Schoolhouse was built in 1798 in Sterling, Massachusetts and it was moved, yes moved, here to Sudbury, Massachusetts uh, to our site in 1927 by Henry Ford. I chose to highlight this location today because it's Women's History Month and I wanted to tell you a little bit about Sarah Josepha Hale who wrote and published the poem Mary's Lamb in 1830 in a book titled Poems for Children. Today most of us know the poem as a song, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Sarah Hale was an incredibly successful writer, editor, and publisher, which was uncommon for women in the 19th century. And she also helped other women writers get published in a popular magazine called Godey's Ladies Book, which she was the editor of for about 40 years. Because the magazine was read by so many people, it also gave Sarah Hale a way to speak on behalf of the issues that she supported and different causes that she felt passionate about. So things like the abolition of slavery, access to college for women, and to help raise money for things like the construction of the Bunker Hill Monument and the preservation of George Washington's Mount Vernon, Virginia home. So what does uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb have to do with the Redstone Schoolhouse? It's a complicated story that begins when one of it, the students who attended the school, it was a one-room schoolhouse in Sterling, Mary Sawyer, said that the poem was written about her later in her life. This was after Sarah Hale had published the poem. She said that she was a student in this school and one day she brought a lamb from her family's farm to school with her and it created a big ruckus and it was a story that circulated all over town. And a young man who was studying to be a minister in town at the time, his name was John Rollstone, thought the story was an amusing one. And he wrote a poem about it and gave it to her on a piece of paper as a gift. Now, Sarah Hale was not happy to hear that someone accused her of stealing this poem, and she spent the rest of her life defending herself. Mary Sawyer never produced any evidence of her story because by the time she had come out with this story, she was older, John Rolston had passed away, and she did not have a copy of the poem that she said he had given her. So that was long gone. Now most of us are used to hearing Mary Had a Little Lamb as a song, but today I thought I'd end this video with a short reading of the poem published by Sarah Hale in 1830. So Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, that was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned him out, but still he lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear and then he ran to her and laid his head upon her arm as if he said, I'm not afraid, you'll keep me from all harm. What makes the lamb love Mary so, the eager children cry. Oh, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. And you each gentle animal in confidence may bind and make them follow at your call if you are always kind. So I think those are some great words to end on. And I will see you again soon with another story about our site and maybe a reading or two. Until then, goodbye.